Hello friends, this is Vivian from HL7 Starter School. You can also find me on hl7starterkit.com. Um, I have some information for you and that's it. It's time, it's time, it's time. You need to learn fire. If you haven't already, it's just time to learn it. Um, I just saw this ad today and it's a fairly recent ad from this month, November 15, 2018. Microsoft unveils Fire Server for Azure to advance interoperability machine learning. That's it. Microsoft's in. Now Microsoft is giving us the ability to create Fire services for free, uh, open source in the Azure cloud. Now Azure isn't free. There is a free version that you can start with, um, like Amazon cloud, but, uh, and I haven't looked that up in a while, but <clears throat> if you already have access to Azure, then this is so, so super cool. But even if you don't have access to Azure and this is not something you're going to do, just take this as a sign. It's time to learn fire. Now it says it right here. The new service comes shortly after the software giant aligned with Amazon, IBM, Google, Oracle, and Salesforce to remove interoperability barriers. We all know what these are. Uh, they've been around forever. Fire has been, uh, is touted to be one of the solutions of interoperability with healthcare. Uh, it makes a lot of sense. There's REST calls. There's API involved. <clears throat> it makes it a lot easier to integrate. There's OAuth 2 involved. So it's time to learn Fire. And I'm here to give you a free course, really quick intro to fire so if you want to learn I'll leave the link below but go to this link and enroll and you can start learning fire this is this is my course um, for, for the community for free let's see if we have the um, yep the curriculum it, it uses Birth Connect and you'll learn how to convert a fire patient resource to HL7 version 2 um, which is a very common task in the fire uh, world in the integration world and this is fire patient resource ashy xml so run in here and sign up and take this course for free because i tell you guys i've been saying this for a while i tell all of my friends if you want to think about the future hl7 version dot two two dot x is going to be obsolete in the next probably i don't know i'm guessing five to ten years um that's my guess i have no idea but it's definitely going to be obsolete very soon and now that you have the, these big giants coming in here, trying to get into integration, trying to get into healthcare, realize the problem with interoperability, integration, it's a done deal. This is it. Fire is going to explode now. So please take advantage of the situation. Listen to what I'm saying. Start learning fire. Um, start with this course. I'm going to build an entire curriculum course. I already started it. And um, I'll let you know when that is. I will put it on YouTube here as well. If you want to follow me, um, so you can keep, so you can keep, uh, updated. I can update you on when my intro to fire complete course will be done. Go to facebook.com HL7 course. And here I'm going to update all of my followers on when my intro to fire full course will be done. Um, so follow me on here and you'll know when, when, when my intro to fire course is done in the meantime. Don't be silly. Don't hesitate. Click the link below. Sign up and start learning fire because it's now it's just countdown to when fire will be important and um, HL7 2.x will be less relevant. So thank you for, for watching. Um, sign up. Click the link below. I'll see you in the inside. Have a great day.